Hi guys, GBS here, and in this video, I just wanted to talk about something outside of what I usually do from reviewing tablets or drawing tutorials. Instead, I'll review and share some of my thoughts regarding this manga that I currently just finished reading, which is Oyasumi Punpun, a story in arts made by Inyo Sano, who is a Japanese manga artist and is also the one responsible behind the manga Girl on the Shore, Solanin, and others. I decided to make a video regarding this manga since for me, it's one of those rare moments where I get so emotionally attached to the characters and story. And share some of my thoughts may help you guys decide whether you might want to try this one for yourself, as well as maybe experience the emotional roller coaster I have with this one. But before all of that, first, let's talk about the physical design of the book so you can appreciate more the quality of what you might be reading. So, this is the English edition of the book, which is actually in lesser numbers compared to the original Japanese version, as they combine several chapters to the manga, similar to omnibus releases. I actually do prefer this type of book since it's lesser in numbers to collect and feel more exclusive rather than the thin ones. This version contains 7 books in total, for the English version, and a total of 13 volumes compared to the Japanese version. The size of the book is around 1.5 inches thick and around 5.5 to 8.5 in dimension. I also like the texture of the cover pages as it has this smooth matte finish into it that feels good when you're holding it. So let's have a quick look on the different sides of the book to better appreciate of what you're getting. You can see here that on each spine of the book is a continuous set of marks that when put together in order creates the main character Pun Pun. I love this style of approach since it creates the need to collect all of the books to create this feeling of cohesiveness. It feels more unique and well thought as well rather than just the usual ones. I also like how the cover pages are a combination of matte and glossy textures in some areas. Do note that all of the cover pages of this book are not hard bound, so make sure to take care of it since it will be a lot more susceptible to wear and tear. So now, let's move on to some of my thoughts regarding the story. There are several experiences in life that can probably create this deep emotional connection within you. Most of the time, it can either be the happiest or the saddest experience in your life you share mostly with the people around you, but rarely a fictional story out of a manga. I've read quite a few ones before, but it's the first time I've actually read something like this. The main character in this manga is a guy named Pun Pun, which is portrayed in a rather odd way. The story revolves mostly around him, so it's basically us, the viewers, having a peek over his journey in life, from all to the brightest and most carefree down to the darkest and emptiest moments. Although the story revolves mostly around Pun Pun, other characters in this manga are very well developed as well. They don't seem like a fictional characters as some of them probably has a similar persona for someone you personally know. It might seem to start at a rather slow pace in some areas, but as the story progresses, you start to expand to a rather more serious side of life, be it either toxic family relations, marriage, bully, mental disorder, betrayal, and more. These issues in life are extremely well portrayed in here. It might be one of the reasons why I think most of it becomes relatable since we start to realize as we navigate through the story is that we, the viewers, at some point might have experienced as well certain parts of what Putman had. In addition to that good story is the incredibly good art. It's not a typical Mo type of art which is actually not something I'm against that but the art on this manga leaned towards a more realistic type of art style infused with stylization. The sceneries are nothing short of incredible as well. Places seems familiar and realistic as it depicts a relatable places similar to what we have in real life. There are instances where you would even pause for a while and appreciate the artistry on several panels. Inyo Asano's mastery in his art is very evident throughout the entire book, be it either environment, composition, character design, especially human emotions which are extremely well portrayed in here. You can connect to what the character's emotions are because of how well they are portrayed, be it either the goofiness of some comedic characters, happiness shared between friends, being sad, or the feeling of emptiness. So for my final thoughts, is this manga for everyone? Or should I even recommend this to everyone? Well, I probably won't, not because it's bad, but I think there's a certain demographic of audiences that would really appeal to this kind of story. It's not a lighthearted story or something that you would read just to chill out. It's the kind of story that will demand your entire attention. There are also several instances where I have to pause, close the book, and shake my head from disbelief. Or several moments where I have to digest on what just happened on specific scenes. There are a lot of moments like this hence 
you always look forward to what's gonna happen next. I also do think that if you're somehow emotionally fragile or someone who are going through a difficult point in your life, I personally would avoid reading something like this since it might amplify some emotion or thoughts you're having. If there's a lasting thought on me after I finish the manga, it's very weird for me to say this but I think I wish I get Isekai into their world and help Bon Bon and Aiko, especially in some specific crucial scenes where I really think could have been a good turning point for them. I really wish I could have helped, since it's a story that I will never ever forget. Just want to say thank you to Inyo Asano for sharing to this world this creative mind and wonderful art that resulted to this beautiful and yet melancholic story. Always support human artists to further create these wonderful stories that is worth reading and sharing for generations to come. Thank you.